So I've been doing ceramics probably 20 to 25 years. It was part of the BFA program to learn every aspect of it. And I never touched clay before then, but it just clicked. So I went after the art and that's where it all just kind of blossomed. I enjoy working with my hands, always have. It was fun to be able to play in the dirt again and make a shape that came up so quickly and easily looking at, really see it and understand it. I heard about the Pit Fire Festival but I didn't know that there were bowls involved. And then when I found out that there were, I thought, oh, well, that'd be really cool to make a thousand bowls. And it's not a thousand bowls. If you're really good at it, maybe it's a thousand, two hundred bowls. I, as talking to other people who have made it, they thought, well, I can make 50 a week. Then I, I said, and can you trim 50 a week and glaze 50 a week? And then that's a whole new thought that that's what you gotta think into consideration too when you're time managing. I spent probably six months thinking about what I would make, and so I finally decided it's, I'll put myself out there and do, try it. Material itself is another challenge because not all clays are the same. They fire at different temperatures, and if you want more strength in them, they might have more grit in them, which is a problem if you're making a thousand bowls because grit holds up a whole lot better than flesh does. So after a while, you find out that your fingers are just raw. You have to take care of your hands. Really, centering it's the most difficult. You center it on the outside, but then you stick your hole in the middle just off, and it's not centered anymore. Or you've got both of those centered, but then when you pull the wall up, you pull too quickly before it did a full revolution, and it's not centered anymore. Trimming is, there's no turning back if you make a mistake. You have to concentrate on what you're doing and really look at the whole shape and not just trim the bottom because the bottom's got to fit with the whole piece. Um, so I trim as much as I can while it's still on the wheel. This was my design for the bowls. And then I put a dent in it and that was purely an accident. And I thought, oh, but then I thought, you know what, I kind of like that. So I left it in there and everybody likes it too. So the bowl is shaped like this egg. And finally, my uh, scale became this. So I knew that this is the size it has to be when I make it to get to this. So it will shrink down to this size. Glazing is another challenge. You have a mental, or I do have a mental picture of what I like but the problem is getting it. I tried a whole bunch of different glazes, combinations, and then finally came up with one that worked the best. But now it's finished, so I'm just happy with it. And it's turned out to be just a, a wonderful learning experience and a great uh, lesson in time management. We're gonna set fire to the nice and bad vibes Out of sight, the car last